This is the world's first fully automated leaf-cutting robot for tomato crops, explain experts from the Netherlands. That doesn't sound too cool, right? But did you know that China alone produces more than 56 million tons of tomatoes a year? So, it's a very significant invention, especially in the light of the global food crisis. The robot has been successfully tested in several greenhouses, and it's planned to build analogues for handling cucumbers and harvesting crops in the future. The Tomato version has a robotic arm that extends 49 inches, and is ready to work 24-7. Its work can also be evaluated from a smartphone, and the company guarantees 85% effectiveness at a weekly range of 107,500 square feet. In 2022, online sales have totaled $5.5 trillion. Imagine how many orders that is, and how difficult it is to find, package, and deliver every purchase on time. This system works five times faster than humans, and is already used by Lotta, Aoshan, and other large companies. The key feature of the system is special honeycomb cells. Robotic containers circulate in the upper part, into which the goods are placed by manipulators. And then, the containers with the orders can be picked up by the delivery service. By the way, there's also an innovation for delivery services. Special algorithms will design the optimal route. They've already been tested by the Canadian supermarket chain Sobeys, and 98.6% of orders were delivered on time. And the scale is staggering. In a London warehouse, 2,000 robots can pick up to 2 million items a day. These robots work for DHL, one of the world's most famous logistics companies. They sort packages, and from the outside, the process looks rather simple and uninnovative. But the figures speak for themselves. Robot-equipped facilities in Singapore and South Korea are 40% more efficient, with sorting rates exceeding a thousand small packages per hour, and the robots are 99% accurate. To process works as follows, the robot scans a special barcode, obtains information about the destination, and deposits the package in the right container. The containers are placed on racks, and each rack has a separate courier route. DHL will spend about $2 billion on such robots, so competitors will obviously have to pull out all the stops. You need superhuman capabilities to fight crime, write the creators of this security robot. And they're right. In the United States alone in 2020, firearms attacks increased by 8%. And in France, they were horrified when they measured the homicide rate in the last 20 years. It went up by 91%. This security robot is able to patrol autonomously, rotating 360 degrees. Moreover, its capabilities allow it to detect suspicious events that a normal security guard would have overlooked. For example, by scanning up to 300 license plates per minute, the robot can locate suspicious vehicles and report back on them. It also detects if someone in its vicinity is on a blacklist and alerts them with a beep. If needed, the operator can take control of the robot and communicate with the people around it. However, one of these robots misjudged its strength and drowned in a fountain. So we're still a long way from RoboCop. <laughs> 